this is Kristen at Cooking in the County, and I finally have a little down day with not so much baking to do today. So I thought I would throw together another crock pot dessert this time. Now I know I have my own bakery and I do my own cakes, my own cupcakes, but sometimes it's nice to just throw a dessert in a crock pot and just forget about it. So this is going to be a crock pot peanut butter chocolate cake. So I think you're gonna enjoy this. So here's a list of ingredients you're gonna to need to make this crock pot peanut butter chocolate cake. To make this delicious crock pot peanut butter chocolate cake, you'll need one chocolate cake mix, one cup of water, half a cup of butter melted, three eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, eight ounces of mini Reese's peanut butter cups. And for the topping, one cup of creamy peanut butter, three tablespoons of powdered sugar, and a few extra Reese peanut butter cups chopped up for the top. Okay, first things first. As always, if I'm using a crock pot, I am gonna turn my crock pot on and it's gonna be on high while I'm working. So this is gonna be really quick. You are going to need a chocolate um, cake mix. Now, the recipe called for a devil's food cake um, cake mix, but I, I don't think it really matters. So this is just the one that I happen to have on hand. Yes, even though I am a baker, I do have cake mix on hand. Like I said, sometimes we just want to quickly get dessert on the table as well. So this is going to be quick. Now, this is gonna take an hour and a half in your crock pot. So you're thinking, well, I can't do that and go to work. No, but you can throw it in the crock pot. When, the moment you get home, throw it in your crock pot, go look at your kid's homework, go throw the clothes in the dryer, do a few things. It takes an hour and a half. You gotta get supper started anyway. So just throw it in so you'll have a dessert after supper. So an hour and a half and you have a I've never made this, so I'm assuming it's delicious. There's no reason why it shouldn't be delicious. So anyway, we have our cake mix in here. We are going to add three eggs, but we're gonna crack them in another dish. I have a 16 year old and a 21 year old, and these used to be their little monster snacks. I still have another one, there's an orange one, and I just keep them because I am very sentimental when it comes to stuff of my children. So these are the two little bowls I have yet to get rid of. Getting rid of everything else, but not these. So we need three eggs. And I hope this is the time of day that the UPS or FedEx man will come and Murphy despises them and he's gonna lose his mind. So I'm just hoping during this video that that doesn't happen. If it does, I'll do my best. Cake mix, three eggs. We're just gonna put it all in, then we're gonna start it up. One cup of water. And they want you to melt one stick of butter. So I'm gonna do that real quick. While that's melting, we will we can turn this on. We'll just do it real slow. Throw the butter in. We're just gonna mix it for like two minutes. Yes. Okay, let's settle down some. We have our eggs, water mix, melted butter's going in, and we're just gonna mix it for two minutes. Slow it first so it doesn't spin everywhere. And we'll do this for two minutes. Almost forgot our vanilla. We need a couple squirts of vanilla. Two minutes is up. So the last thing we're going to add to this are some mini Reese cups. Now the recipe calls for eight ounces. This whole bag is seven ounces and some have been taken out of it. So um, I think just use what you have. I have this bag and I'm gonna kinda just cut them up just a little bit. They are small already. 
I'm going to cut a couple of them up just a little bit, just to have a little chunked up. And we're just going to stir it in with a spoon. We don't want to over mix it too much once we add these, okay? So there's that. I'm just going to put this into it. And we're just going to stir peanut butter cups in, scrape the bottom, make sure you get everything good and mixed. There we go. Also, if you don't have any Reese cups on hand, maybe you might have some Reese peanut butter cups, Reese peanut butter chips, and some regular chocolate chips. Just mix those two together and throw those in. I think those would be the same effect. Right? We always can't say, oh, I can't make that recipe because I don't have Reese cups. Well, that's okay. Even if you just had chocolate chips, just throw the chocolate chips in it. You know, this is your kitchen. You do you. Just throw this. How can that not taste good? Right? Okay. So I'm going to get my crock pot real quick. Okay. My crock pot is already on. It's already on high. We're going to spray it. I pray to God that this doesn't stick ridiculously. Probably should get one of those liners, but I've never used those liners. So, all we're gonna do is scrape all of this cake mix into your crock pot. See what I'm doing here? Scrape it really good. Just gonna level it out just a little bit. Just like that. This is for my family, so it's okay if I use my fingers. Okay. Now the trick is this is gonna cook for an hour and a half, but we are going to take about Two, two, like if there's only two, like four lengths, we are going to lay this down on our crock pot like this. Then we're going to put the cover right on top. And we are not taking this cover off for an hour and a half. You probably didn't need those extra, but that's okay. This paper towel is going to keep the moisture from getting onto your cake and like actually just cooking your cake. This is what the recipe says. I can't wait to see if that really makes a difference. So, in an hour and a half, we're gonna test our cake, see if it's done. We're gonna make a little peanut butter frosting, a warm peanut butter frosting to put on top, and then we're gonna crumple up some more Reese cups for the top, and then we're gonna try it. So, I will see you in an hour and a half, and I hope this is gonna be so yummy, but I can't imagine chocolate peanut butter, it's not gonna be yummy. Okay, see you in an hour and a half. Okay, we have 55 seconds left on our timer. I'm very anxious to take the cover off and see what this looks like. First thing we're gonna do is get a glass bowl, get a cup of creamy peanut butter. And we're gonna melt it in the microwave just for it to get loose so we can stir it. And then we're gonna add three tablespoons of powdered sugar. So let me throw this in the microwave real quick. 45 seconds, it's nice and runny. Three tablespoons of powdered sugar. Just gonna mix this up. Just kind of stiffen it up a little bit. Take this and put this on our cake. It looks amazing. And you can see on the paper towel that it has sucked up all the moisture. And the cake is just as dry as it can be. It's not mushy, it's not wet. It looks just like a perfectly baked 
cake. This is so cool. Okay, now we're gonna put our peanut butter frosting on top. Oh yeah, we're supposed to take it off this so it will stop cooking. Okay, now we're gonna drizzle our peanut butter frosting on top. An hour and a half. You didn't have to worry about it. Just put it in your crock pot. And I'm gonna take some Reese pieces and just break it up, put it on the top. way through. Hot peanut buttery. So moist. It's not dry at all. It's a really good chocolate flavor. I wonder what it will taste like if it would taste even better if it was cold, but it is very yummy, warm. I think you guys really need to try this. It is so good. It's moist, took an hour and a half in the crock pot. Get all your stuff done, throw that in there, get your supper done. So when you're all done supper, you have a delicious dessert. I think it's delicious warm, but I also think it's gonna be really yummy cold. So try this video, try this video, try this cake in your crock pot. Let me know if you try it in the comments below and if you love it. Also, if you are liking the videos that I am doing, please consider liking and subscribing. So you know every time I post a video, so you don't miss any of them. So this is my crock pot meal for the week. And I think I have one more in mind. And then we'll see where we go from there. But thanks for watching, guys. Try the cake.